Right guys, back to the mower repair restoration, the Wessex mower deck. Um, oh, it'll be dark but yeah, I'm use camera on there. Yeah, so I've done a fair bit more since I've done the last video on it. I've had a fair white round, so I've done about two hours on it. This was quite nasty by you. This was pitted uh, quite bad, sort of grinding that down. Still a few little marks, but I think this putty will take that out. The prime I'm going to put on now is going to be thick. The only thing I haven't done is these bits, and I do them when I do the the A frame. So I just want to get up the the deck in primer now. That's the day's thing. I've got done I've got little bits here and there, but the primer's thick, so I should cover some of it. Um, yeah, so we're going to two pack prime it now. In a minute, I like two pack primer. It's the two K primer. It's the proper job, like seal it all up because it's getting damp all the time it was and after we prime this then we can uh, I'll turn it over next week and we'll have another video we start underneath then I'll mix up the, the primer now there one second so I do a four to one and I roll it on you might think that's a bit strange but I don't know that uh, spray and stuff like this like spot repair as I call that and they get nice and thick I gotta sand it down anyway, like 320, 400. For the DA. Got my mixing cup. 2K. I buy this off Jewel. Jewel paints. I had a lot of stuff of them. I think from Birmingham over the years. I like this stuff. So, 4 to 1, we're doing it. I use these mixing cups, the clear ones, they're so easy, it's unbelievable. So look for your, your mark on there, which I can see here. You can use the, the, the sticks, you know, I usually use the sticks as well. Because they have these clear cups, I use them. Roughly work out how much we're going to use. I'd say a quarter of it, easy. So go to the first mark on the four with the paint. Be honest, though, this is going to be a bit much, but it's quite cold today, so I give it a few quarts through the day. Use it up. But next line, then, i slightly gone over. Don't matter if you slightly go over, all you do is take your next one slightly over as well. To match it. So I'm going to take the next one and go into the one on the next one. I'm going to slightly over with that as well. Don't matter if you're a little bit out, be honest with you. I could put a rocket in there to set it off in cold water like this, but be alright. And thinners then, this is like universal, just like 2K thinners. And just a dab of that, like 10%. Alright, that's it. That's the mix. Exactly the same mix for spraying. I just roll it on. I don't obviously roll it on the cars. Well, I do on the first, sometimes on the, on the spot repairs. Whichever, like. I'm doing that at all job down there now, and I'm, I'm rolling in the first lot. 320, 400. Oh, no, 180. And then uh, spray the last light coat of primer on in. And then 320 or 400. That's all I do. Like I said, this is 4 to 1. Any spray jobs, 2K is 2 to 1. Or base coats, sadly, everything's 2 to 1. This is a Primax, you want it thick. It's 4 to 1. So stir them up. Give them a good stir, good mix. That's it, done. This is dangerous stuff, even without. That's why I don't spray if I can as well, roll it. Try not to create too much uh, problems with it because it's like I said, it is dangerous with the ice is ironed in there. Two pack. Right, here we go on. Give it a roll.
there we are. So there's the first court of Paima. So might be enough for that. A quick court. I will give you another court. You can see it's quite flat. The sponge rollers are the best. You pretty much imagine, you know what I mean? I got a bit of bits in here. I said all gotta be rubbed down. But um that's alright. Seal it up, what better? I'll give another coat after now. And um next week then we move on to the underneath. Like I said a bit of paint on these, don't matter. When it all goes green then, be tidy. Alright. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Cheers.